Halloween. Welcome to another remake video, this time of my top 10 creepy things in Nintendo games. Some of the things on this list will be exactly the same, whereas some will be removed or changed position. With that said, light a candle, and let's get into the video. Starting off... <laughs> the Alien Transmission. Animal Crossing is a friendly series. Animals to meet, making friends, getting a home, and doing what your alien overlords tell you to. What is this madness? Who are you guys? What do they want? I want some nice TV! That's all I ever wanted! Just to watch some nice TV! Not the staticky madness! <laughs> Porky Minch. Although considerably less creepy than he used to be, Porky Minch is still a terrifying boy. As a young child who wanted nothing more than a friend, Porky was a sweet and innocent kid. But when Porky lost his friendness, that's where he went off the deep end. Losing his ability to walk from bending space and time, taking over the whole world, and then wishing to destroy it. What a troubled kid. <laughs> the Hell Valley Sky Tree. With a name like Hell Valley, what do you think this is from? Bayonetta? Xenoblade? Maybe even Kid Icarus? No. The forever E-rated Mario Galaxy 2. You might be wondering, what the heck is Hell Valley Sky Tree? Well, it's not a place. It's a bunch of weird ghostly figures constantly following you around Shiverburn Galaxy. And also Grandmaster, but nobody remembers that. The Hell Valley Sky Tree are a large sector associated with the area Skybox, beyond Hell Valley. We have no explanation from Nintendo about what these things are, or why they're there. But I need answers. I'm asking questions. And I need an answer. <laughs> the Moon. The Majora's Mask Moon has a terrifying face. Oh, you need more? Alright. I don't know everything about Majora's Mask, but the Moon is terrifying. Every time you look up at the sky, you get that terrible memory that you're gonna die in three days. Now, realistically, the Moon Gang in this close to the planet would already kill us because of tidal waves. Which is probably why I don't find it too creepy. But in this universe, you're all gonna die. Plus, it looks like a giant cake would eat And that's not pleasant. <laughs> Pokemon Ghosts. You'll be seeing a lot of Pokemon here. It's also where the list really gets uncomfortable. But why? Ghost Pokemon aren't too bad. Well, guess what? When I say Pokemon Ghosts, I'm not talking about ghost type Pokemon. I mean people. In the Pokemon universe, who are ghosts? We got the Ghost Girl from Black and White, the old Chateau Ghost, the infamous X Maniac Ghost who is the bait for fan artists. These people are so mysterious, and I really don't need to learn anymore. Just look at these terrifying people. Uh, would you want to get close to them? I, I wouldn't. <laughs> five Falls. I promise the number five isn't intentional. Though it is hilarious. Five Volt is the mother of Nine Volt, and in real life isn't really that scary. But according to Nine Volt's imagination, Five Volt looks like an absolute demon. Picture this in real life. You're in your bed, comfy, and all of a sudden something creepy begins watching you to check if you're asleep. It's like the Phantoms of Minecraft. And I've had nightmares following the same story. It's not pleasant. <laughs> Sabrina in the anime. Sabrina is the creepiest thing in the Pokemon anime. She speaks in a very monotone voice. She has a really creepy doll with eyes that still haunts me to this day. It even tries to crush our heroes with a ball. She turned her mother, Brock, and Misty into dolls. It cares about nothing but developing her psychic powers. She's like the ultimate rebel. And still, I find her doll the creepiest part of this trio of episodes. But for comic relief, let's just relive the ending of this saga. Kadabra is rolling with laughter, just like Sabrina. <laughs> Beautiful! Ica Village. It may not be official Animal Crossing, but it's so famous and so creepy I just couldn't leave it off of this list. Ica Village is a dream town with an Animal Crossing new leaf. And the fact that something this creepy could exist in the peaceful world of Animal Crossing just make it all the worse. 
A law has no official story. The most common theory for this count is that young girl Aika received a doll for her birthday. Little did everyone know, the doll is evil, and ended up killing Aika's friends and family in order to have Aika to herself. Being depressed, Aika killed herself, and is buried with the doll, forever trapped in a prison. <laughs> The Veilstone Myth First of all, I should mention that while I find Ica Village much creepier than this, Ica Village still isn't an official Animal Crossing story or place, so I decided to keep it higher up. Anyway, the Veilstone Myth is one of the creepiest things ever to come out of Pokemon. Briefly explained, it follows a man who finds a sword, murders a bunch of Pokemon with it for a whole year, to the point where Pokemon become hard to find, until one Pokemon arrives and claims to kill the man if he does not give up the sword. He eventually learned his lesson and hurled the sword to the ground, snapping it. Just imagine this in real life. The story is basically real life humans today poaching and hunting animals near extinction. Now imagine animals doing that to us, like the birds. Yeah, not fun, is it? The Pokedex. Hey, I want you to be a lot of Pokemon. So don't get mad. Just like in my original video, the Pokédex is the creepiest thing ever to come out of Nintendo. Let's explore it one more time. You got Pokémon that senselessly murder people, kidnap children, Pokémon that are stuck in a permanent coma for life, and the list only gets bigger and badder as new Pokémon games release. Heck, we could easily do a top 10 100 creepy Pokédex entries. I'm not even joking. Just do the research yourself on the Pokémon website. Ugh. I need to turn the lights on. Thanks for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, head over to my channel for more content like it. Or, you can head over to Luke and Films to watch the movies if that's what you're in the mood for. Oh, and have a happy Halloween! Tonta casa!